welcome back to the channel and welcome to cooking from the pantry if you haven't been following the channel cooking from the pantry it's all about me cooking the recipes from our prepper pantries without any fresh ingredients so in today's video I am cooking basically like a Mexican rice and I am making it into the vegetarian rice however you guys can put a tuna fish or any protein on top if you choose to but this recipe we are going vegetarian and I am kind of doing a little bit of a cheat maybe I'm not sure whether you call it this however okay although we're doing a Spanish rice a feta cheese I'm gonna use this as a substitute not substitute yeah, substitute to yogurt on top because I don't have any yogurt. But did you know the feta cheese, I buy this one from Lidl and it's got one year shelf life in the fridge. So I'm going to count this as my go-to kind of thing in the fridge because one year is pretty much, let's say, a good pantry substitute. So here we are. But again, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. So what the recipe consists of is one cup of rice. I'm using a plain white rice. I'm using a mixed beans because I have them in my cupboard and the date is there so they have to be used. So they are Audi's mixed beans but you can use any beans that you choose to. I have tin tomatoes. We will require some um, paprika. I have some hot smoked paprika. Okay, I've got a tablespoon of that. You can use a chili powder, but I do have a spice called Bravas Mix. And if you guys shop in TK Maxx um, or Home Sense, they do a lot of foreign foods in there. And this stuff is amazing. It's like a paprika and it's a bit chilly and it's smoky and it's just amazing. I bought loads every time I seen this and it was like £1.99 and good luck finding this for that price. But it is amazing. Even if you pay a fiver, it's worth its weight in gold. Okay, I've got some dried um, oregano from the garden i've got the sorry tablespoon i've got a tablespoon of garlic granules and i do have some yeah um sorry <laughs> paprika and this spice the bravas mix spice here we are so let's get cooking this is kind of a one pot recipe it's easy let's get it down let's get cooking so excuse this for a second guys because we are trying to find a better experience for us to film, hence we've got the hob here to film the camera, to face the camera, sorry. And I've put the phone there so you can have a better view on, in, so, in certain recipes, I kind of want you to see what's going on in my pan. So I've put the phone in there, let me know if it's kind of offensive to an eye, I don't know, but it's there and we're going to try and see how it goes. So, first thing first, olive oil. I'm using a wok because it's just easier for me. Let's put it on. Okay, slowly. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna add on all the spices. So with the garlic, my paprika, my bravas mix, and some oregano. Okay, I'm gonna mix it all up. We can swap that around. It's gonna make a lot of sounds because it is an induction hob and the fan is going, but hopefully you don't get to hear it so much. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just, we're just going to warm the spices up a little bit. Pretty much like what they do in the Indian cooking. Wake the senses. Okay. Oh, it smells amazing. <clears throat> right, I'm going to put the rice in now. Dry. And you know, the smoked paprika tastes a bit like chorizo sausage. It's just got this really, really sweet and smoky. Oh, it's just amazing. I love it. I love it. So we're going to make the rice, mix it in and make it soak in all of those lovely flavours. I'm not adding on salt and pepper because there is um, the mix here. already has got a lot of salt and it's kind of really well seasoned. But of course, you can add on salt and pepper to taste. It's a golden color, I love it, that's great. Okay, so all mixed in. Now guys, we're putting in our beans. I have drained them because I didn't want the extra liquid because I do have the water. Okay. Beans gone in. And I'm putting on two, two cups of water. 
mix it in. I'm going to turn the heat down. Every cuckoo's guys is different. This one is jumps in like in either consumption, energy consumption, or in a couple of hundred degrees. Go figure. Nonetheless. So, I'm going to put the lid on and let it cook for about 12 to 15 minutes until rice is cooked and we've soaked in all this lovely flavoured water. Just one thing, I've just forgotten guys, excuse moi, it must be uh, one glass too many. Um, tin tomatoes, put them in as well, <laughs> sorry, totally forgot, they're there out of my way, so don't forget. Add them on now, it doesn't really matter, add them on now. And I'm using the Lidl's ones with the basil in there. But they're just the best. And they're really thick. There's not a lot of liquid in that. So we're going to mix it in. And forget about it for the next 15 minutes again. The time has passed and we are ready. This looks a little bit more like a risotto, but there's absolutely no problem at all. And it's absolutely amazing. And it tastes and it smells great. So all we gotta do, dish it up and eat it. And as I said, guys, right, um, this is a very basic, right, very basic filling recipe. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna put a little bit of my feta cheese on top. Uh, my husband doesn't like it, so he's not gonna be bothered, but I'm gonna do it. It's an alternative, okay? We are talking um, lemon juice and olive oil, and maybe a little bit of parsley, fresh herbs if you grow in them that's absolutely lovely if you can't then a little bit of lemon juice like the fake lemon juice and a bit of olive oil on the top will just lift the dish up a little bit and give you that little bit more freshness because it's quite chilly quite spicy if you're not really ready for this a mixture of this and olive oil will do lovely or maybe yogurt if you're able to because we can do yogurts that are stored long term which i'll tell you in a different video so anyway guys hopefully you enjoy the video and enjoy the recipe um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.